We're here at Eastern Creek today to demonstrate the difference between worn and good tyres on a car. So we're doing a braking test from 80 kilometres an hour to zero on both sets of tyres and we're seeing some obvious differences in the stopping distance uh, as you'd expect particularly on a wet surface like this. We'll also be doing some uh, circle work in other words, uh, driving around in a circle and seeing how much uh, grip the tyres give and what effect worn tyres can have on the total amount of grip you've got. The message really is uh, be careful when you're looking at your tyres. If they're down to the wear bars, which uh, we'll also look at as part of this program, then you really need to replace them straight away. Make sure you've got plenty of tread on your tyres because that's all that is pumping the water out from under your tyres on a wet road. With good tyres on the car, it has much more grip and even with the electronic control switched off, it still stays reasonably well under control. Where I'm standing now is where the car stopped with good tyres at 80 kilometres an hour. With worn tyres, it stopped 21 metres further, which is down here to this other cone. And 21 metres with this car here is about four car lengths. And this is with a modern car with ABS brakes, which can minimise your braking distance on slippery surfaces. So what the guys here are doing is they're taking off the good tyres from the car and putting on some worn ones. So we can see the difference between the uh, action of the tyres on, on a wet road. So we're looking at these wear bars here, which are these uh, little, little bars at the bottom of the treads. And they're to tell you when the tyres are worn out. So if you don't have these grooves in the tyres to pump water away, then in wet conditions your tyres won't grip as well. We're here at Eastern Creek today to demonstrate the difference between worn and good tyres on a car. We've got worn tyres on the car at this stage and you can see how easy it is to, um, for the tail of the car to slide out and lose control. So even though our driver is very experienced and has done this before, he's still finding it difficult to keep the car pointed in the right direction. Now it, this is a modern car and in fact does have electronic stability control but for the purposes of the demonstration we've switched that off. With good tyres the car is much more stable and it grips much better in this circumstance and it just shows that treaded tyres with, with a good deep tread give you much better grip than worn tyres. So the message is what you see happening now is what, what will happen on the road. If you'd like more information, head to www.mynrma.com.au forward slash motoring.